okay, so I've shot this like 16 times now, <laughs> trying to get this one done. There's been so many technical problems with this particular video, but here we go. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about superposition theorem. This is how you solve circuits where there's more than one power source. It might be a voltage source, might be a current source, might be some type of dependency. Um, but you could solve it using superposition. This is typically what you would do um, on paper. A lot of professors prefer to um, prescribe these kinds of uh, problems, um, and then you might check with SPICE. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to check with SPICE right away. So we're going to start by constructing the circuit. We have our voltage source at 28 volts. This is going to be called B1. I'm going to be trying to keep this consistent with the original circuit. I just pulled this from Google. Um, it's a pretty pretty good problem. Um, seven volts. Then we have the resistors in that deep topology to add four ohms for R1, two ohms for R2, and one ohm for R3. Okay, we connect them all together. There we go. And then lastly, we add the ground and the voltage that we're interested in. So we're interested in the uh, superposed effects of the 7 volt source on the network and the 28 volt source on the network. So we're going to call this V. Now we could just we could just put it in um, and run the analysis and find what that voltage would be, but we're going to do it as if we we're checking our work from, from one of the circuits. So first I'm going to delete this source, and because it's a voltage source I'm going to shunt through it. So this forms a resistor divider um, with the or a voltage divider from the 28 volt source. Um, you have these parallel resistances that once you add them together, then you have the voltage divider and then you'll get your voltage uh, V1. So if I run the simulation, it says I have four volts there. So that's interesting. Okay, so that's the, the first half of it. So now I'm gonna put in the seven source, seven volt source, and then I'm going to shunt across and now um, now the circuit is going to is going to be analyzed from the perspective of seven volts that the B2 source So I run the simulation again And look at that I have four volts So that's just the way that this problem ended up now superposition tells us that we can add these two sources or, or two um, Effects together and then we would get what it really would have been so four volts plus four volts is going to be eight volts together So let's run the simulation and see what we get so we're looking for eight, and there you go, you have eight volts. Now, um, if I have time, I'll, I'll do this problem by hand. It would take about, it takes about 20 minutes to do something like this by hand, um, but in SPICE we could just get the answer uh, pretty quick. So it is useful as a sanity check, especially if you're doing take-home problems or take-home exams. Um, I recommend doing it that way. So uh, this is superposition, very useful. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.